With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So today we are going to solve one question on definite integration. Here we are given this question in which we need to evaluate the value of this integral in the limits 0 to pi. So for solving this question, we follow the integration by parts method. Now by using the ILET rule, we take this part as first and this part as second. So let us assume the value of this integration comes out to be i. So i is basically 0 to pi e to the power 2x into sin pi by 4 plus x dx. So we get our i as first term into integration of second that is e to the power 2x by 2 minus integration of the first term derivative that is cos pi by 4 plus x into integration of the second term that is e to the power 2x by 2 dx. Now we retain this part as it is and apply the integration by parts in this part. By keeping this as the first term and this as the second term. So our i becomes sin pi by 4 plus x into u to the power 2x by 2 minus v extract out this 2 outside of integration and we are left with the, the integration of this that is the first term into integration of the second that is e to the power 2x by 2 minus the integral of the derivative of the first term that is minus sin pi by 4 plus x and minus and minus becomes plus. So we get sin of pi by 4 plus x into integration of the second term that is e to the power 2x by 2 dx. Now on further solving the i becomes e to the power 2x by 2 into sin pi by 4 plus x minus we take 1 by 2 common outside of this curly braces to get minus 1 by 2 into 2 that is 4 into cosine of pi by 4 plus x into e to the power 2x into e to the power 2x plus integration of the sine pi by 4 plus x into e to the power 2x. So this thing becomes i which we were finding out in the starting. So we put this as i. Now we transfer this i from right hand side to the left hand side to get i plus i by 4 is equals to e to the power 2x by 2 sine of pi by 4 plus x minus e to the power 2x by 4 into cosine of pi by 4 plus x. 
now this thing becomes 5i by 4 and if we multiply 4 on both sides of the equation we get 5i is equals to twice of e to the power 2x sin of pi by 4 plus x minus e to the power 2x into cosine of pi by 4 plus x. We can even take e to the power 2x common from right hand side to get e to the power 2x all multiplied by twice of sin pi by 4 plus x minus cosine of pi by 4 plus x. Now if we put the limits then we get phi y is equals to u to the power 2 pi multiplied by twice of sin pi plus pi by 4 that is 5 pi by 4 minus the sin of pi plus pi by 4 that is 5 pi by 4. minus now we put the limit as 0 so we get u to the power 0 that is 1 multiplied by twice of sine pi by 4 minus cosine of pi by 4 Now since we know that sin 5 pi by 4 is equals to cos 5 pi by 4 is equals to minus 1 by root 2 and sin pi by 4 by 4 is equals to cos pi by 4 is equals to 1 by root 2. So this equation becomes 5y is equals to u to the power 2 pi into minus 2 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 and this minus minus becomes plus uh, minus 2 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 which on further solving becomes e to the power 2 pi minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 so now if we take 1 by root 2 common then we get or rather we take minus 1 by root 2 common so we get minus 1 by root 2 outside and inside we get u to the power 2 pi plus 1. This is the value of 5i. So i basically comes out to be minus 1 by 5 root 2 multiplied by u to the power 2 pi plus 1. This is our answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.